Hello guys, if you like my awesome gaming videos, my programming and web development courses, my editing courses and editing videos, and my tech talks and tech guidance, then you can consider subscribing to my channel and click on this bell icon to stay connected with me all the time. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So this video is very useful for many of you people who want to know how to enable TPM 2.0 on your computer in the motherboard BIOS setting okay so in the previous video I got a huge love I got almost 70 to 18 thousand views which was really great in a very short time I am here now to make amazing content for you guys so that I can give you much more content about many of the motherboard in MSI ASUS Gigabyte motherboard in in AMD platform and Intent platform on whichever motherboard you have if you can enable it easily if you have this kind of facility in your motherboard and how to enable it so in this video I'm gonna help you how to do that so the first motherboard that I have I want to show you is my own motherboard so if you see there is for you Asus UFI BIOS utility and this motherboard model is Prime B560 MK which is 14 gen and 11 gen supported uh, Intel processor like in core i3 5 7 9 etc okay so in this motherboard if you go there if you click on advanced setting and go to the trusted computing you will see that there is TPM 2.0 device found because this is a very latest motherboard it is 11 gen supported so ob obviously it has because we know that 8 gen up to 11 gen we support for the Intel TP TPM 2.0 which is default but officially it is supported okay from 8 gen to up to the highest level okay then you see in the second line we have secu security device support enable and in the last section we see the TPM 2.0 UEFI spec version which is TG, TCG2. So it is completely supported you can see what it were written in that and you can enable it by going there obviously. I have a dedicated video on this you can also check it out how to enable it okay guys. So now I am going to the simple gigabyte UEFI dual BIOS motherboard. And in this motherboard we don't have TPM setting on the advanced setting it is little bit of different. It's in the peripherals guys, it's in the peripherals. If you go to the peripherals, as you can see this is for the Intel based motherboard. If you go to the trusted computing in the blue written text as you can see, in the, if you go to the trusted setting and you can enable it by there, by going there. Very simple, very easy, you can search it for it. And just go to the peripherals and go to the trusted computing and just enable it. Now I'm going to the second category of our motherboard. So here in this particular motherboard, this is actually for the MSI motherboard. As you can see by the interface, it's all red, reddish, everything. It is a gaming type of MSI motherboard, especially for AMD. As you can see in the AMD, we have FTPM switch, okay? Because AMD, they call it FTPM, but in Intel call it PTT, okay? The two different module. I'll give you full explanation what is that, because AMD is a little bit of different, is calling it TPM to FTM. But Intel called TPM as a PDT, as a security option, okay? As you can see, we have, if you go to the settings, security, trusted computing, first go to setting, security, trusted computing, okay? Then you have your written there, TPM 2.0 device found, and the firmware version that you have, and the vendor is AMD, because this is AMD support, AMD supported motherboard. And then you have a security device support enable and AMD FTPM switch. You can select it and make it enable and in the middle section we have tpm state as you can see it is also enabled make sure that you enable it okay if you want to support your uh, operating system to windows 11 if you want to upgrade it you have to do this kind of setting okay you have to enable tpm state so that is also fine and you also have the tpm 2.0 UEFI spec version also this is a 2.0 which is also enabled now let's go to the next motherboard and here this is just a normal MSI motherboard as you can see here also if you go to the advanced and trusted computing you will have the same thing TPM 2.0 device found and in the last section we have TPM 2.0 UEFI spec version this is also enabled okay so this is awesome if we go to the next type of motherboard we can see this is Aorus Gigabyte gaming type of motherboard and as you can see it's written if you go to the settings in the advanced mode you have AMD CPU FTPM because AMD call it FTPM you just need to enable it and in the last section we have trusted computing 2.0 as you can see these are the two things for the TPM in Aorus Gigabyte AMD based motherboard okay so that is very simple very easy you can do it very simply 
and the next one we have the MSI motherboard and this is as you can see in the right side this is Z590 motherboard for the MSI which is also a gaming motherboard type and it support 11 gen processors of Intel and here if you go to the settings panel and you go to settings go to security go to trusted computing and here you will find security device support enabled and TPM device selection PTT because Intel call it PTT okay make sure it is enabled and security device support enabled and if you do all of those things then you have the uh, TPM enabled on your motherboard and you can update your windows to windows 11 so this is very important so guys as you, as i told you these are all the things and settings in different category of motherboard different brands of motherboard asus msi gigabyte i showed you a uh, for different kind of motherboard and different kind of uh, chipset like in uh, different kind of brands processor like amd intel based and what are the supported feature for it and how we can enable in different kinds of motherboard normally i cannot afford all the motherboards so that's why i took a screenshot of every single type of motherboard that i can possible and showed you how to do that because i want to help you guys so that you can make sure you can upgrade your operating system to windows 11 in the near future which is looks awesome beautiful i will also do this and i'll make a complete video as well okay so don't worry and you can upgrade it to whatever you like and enable it and let's enjoy so thanks for watching i'll be coming with lots of awesome content in the near future and help me support to grow my channel and help and subscribe and share as much as possible of my awesome content that you have given the love in the previous video so i will so that i can provide much more much more better content in the future so thanks for watching i'll be coming with the next video take care bye bye all the best